everyone, I'm Shadi, I'm Wellness Ethics Chair for Roseman ASDA, and I wanted to come here today to talk to you guys about boards and board prep, and just how, to, how you guys can prepare to make sure you guys pass when the time comes. And I just want to let you know that Roseman ASDA, your school, your faculty, and your upperclassmen, everybody, there's nothing more than we want for all of you guys to pass. So if you guys have any questions, just come and ask anyone and they will be more than happy to help you. Um, and that's basically what I did throughout the year. So I wanted to mention a few things. One was there's always questions about dental decks. Um, when I came to Roseman, I had never even heard about them. So I wanted you guys to really get a really detailed overview so you guys know how to use them as well. So uh, dental decks is a compilation of uh, note cards that really embody a majority of topics that are going to you're going to see on boards. So I would highly recommend that um, you guys go through all of these once you, um, your board prep at the end of the year is done. And what we most students did, they went through all of these and then they went back um, and went over their weaknesses. So about one and a half times was the amount of time most students um, went through this. And I split mine up into a 14-day program, which I will uh, link at the des description box below. And what this is, it really um, separates your decks into uh, categories similar to our blocks. And kind of gives you like a timeline about how speedy you need to get through these. So I would highly recommend after each specific block, take for example, day one is embryology. Go through this after your block so that by the end of the year, you've already gone through this once. You're going to be more confident and be able to take the test sooner than your other classmates. So I would highly recommend that. I put mine in baggies and I would write day one and I felt it was very helpful to me. And I think I went through, I think that's a pretty thorough overview of that. Um, this is really good. Oh, on a last note, I wanted to mention... I would recommend you guys buying the late, uh, a more recent version of the DAX, not because it's um, very much different from previous versions, but it's so much easier to sell, and it's just going to be worth more, even online, if you decide not to sell, sell to a student. And if you sell on time, it should really cost you maybe $20, $30 difference, because it's still high value. So, um, you know, just something to note when you guys are making that decision. So another thing I wanted to mention is the Mastery app. A lot of our classmates really enjoyed this app. What it is, it is a um, accumulation of about 1,200 questions or so, and they really go over different categories and were really helpful. And um, a lot of uh, classmates would share this app um, with other classmates. I wouldn't recommend it because uh, what happens is they actually separate these, your statistics on how you're doing, missed questions, you can go back and do those. So I would recommend getting your own. And it's pretty expensive, but if you, um, our classmates looked up a deal, I think they called them and they got almost something around 50% off. So definitely look into that and it is definitely worth it and very convenient. It's just on the go wherever you are, you have access to questions and explanations of the questions that you missed. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, so many things, is these uh, old released ASDA questions. So these are actually released questions from old board tests. And I will be honest, I spent way more time than I should have on these, thinking that the questions would come up again. They really did it. I would recommend this more as a type of way to gauge your progress and to categorize what your weaknesses are and go over those topics. Um, I would say that I noticed most of my class that, uh, classmates getting 70% or higher were about ready to, I feel like they were good to pass board. So that's a very rough estimate. Things are always changing, but just something to think about um, when you guys are taking these tests. I would say do a handful and make sure that you're, you know, you're on par to take the test and pass. Lastly, I wanted to mention I really enjoyed using utilizing my notebook. I basically had paper everywhere, just all over the place. And finally I got a, um, I just got a, you know, one subject notebook and everything is just in place. I drew, I drew pictures of teeth, I wrote explanations of everything. And I find this is really helpful because 
um, I just drew pictures of different things and everyone kind of needs to make their own notebook and I feel like it's really helpful. Um, and something that just came to mind is there's a book, it's called First Aid, it's First Aid and on the back of that book, it's a really good reference book, the school actually has about 8 or 10 copies on hand. So before boards, before all your classmates go get them, uh, get yourself uh, get yourself that book and they have a really good dental section where um, you're going to just see a summary of all um, details about each tooth and I would recommend going through that and just making sure that you really know all the details um, on that and it's a really good reference as well. And a lot of my classmates also use um, something called golden nuggets if you hear that term. Um, I personally did not use them. I would just say you're going to hear a lot of class people mentioning different um, things that they use to pass, but the things I mentioned here are really the standard, and you can certainly use what works best for you. So I hope I went through everything. If there's any questions at all that you have, come to me on campus, or write your question on the comments box below, and I will definitely try my best to answer them in a timely manner. And please subscribe and like our video, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.